Hallelujah. If you don't mind, you can take your seat. Musobola kutula. Amen. Today is a good day. Olwale lunaku lulunji. It's a good day for the good news. Lunaku lulunji olama ulira malunji. To worship our Creator. Ngatusinza katonda wafe mutonzi. Amen. Let us give a big hand clap to the Iman Mirele Choir. Please welcome your friend in the house of the Lord. If you don't know his or her name, you can ask her her name. Amen. Amen. Today we are so, so happy that we have our family in the house of the Lord. They have done a great, great, great work. Uh, we don't have enough words to express our gratitude. For what they have done. They have done a lot. They have done a lot. So without wasting time, I'm going to call the leader of the team. He, he will introduce the team to us. And uh, each one of them has a special message to us. And the team leader has a unique message to us. Would you please stand up? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As I'm speaking right now, God has added on me another skill. I, I, I can make tables. <laughs> okay, let us all come. Scott and the team to come on the power pit. Good morning. And just so I know, how many of you know can see can hear my English and understand me? You'll help me. So English. No English. Okay. This is my wife, Pam. This is our dear friend Debbie. And her, her husband Patrick. No mommy Patrick. And my granddaughter Megan. Megan. Her husband Charles. Our daughter Stacy. And her husband, Jared. Good. You can all come down this way a little bit. Come down. Move this way just a little bit. We'll move down here just a little bit. Right? Yeah. Right. 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 A little bit. And I'll let them all talk for a little bit, and then I'll end it with a little more of a talk. So she- Hello. 
I want you all to know that it gives us great joy to come and build tables. You, you make us happy. <laughs> you fill my heart. I love to worship with you Ugandans. You, you, you know how to worship the Lord. <laughs> and it fills my heart with love, with, with joy, with the fire of God, with hope, with God's goodness. That all comes from worshiping with you. You are a very special, beautiful people. Like Pastor Moses said, words cannot express our gratitude. We absolutely love you and we love to come here and worship with you and fellowship with you. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's, it's very hard to express. How much, how welcome we feel. And, and how happy we are with you. Um, I want to share just my, one of my favorite verses. Um, in Romans, it, it says, for those who are led by the Spirit of God are the children of God. And if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God. And co-heirs with Christ. If indeed we share in his sufferings, in order that we may also share in his glory. And here, I feel you are so much family. And brothers and sisters. Thank you. Good morning. So I'm going to share with you a little a bit of what God put on my heart this morning. As I was reading the word this morning, I thought about you all. And I think about where you come from, and I think about where you're headed. And the verse that, I, that came to my mind this morning was John 10.10. 10. And it says, the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and destroy. But the Lord says, I have come that they may have life and have life more abundantly. And I look at all of you people and you guys have blessed us so much and the church that you have and the school that you're building God is blessing you abundantly praise God good morning everyone Thank you all so much for welcoming us as well as you have. It is just incredible to be here with you all. You bring so much joy, so much happiness and love. Just, just everyone here, I can't... I, really can't even find the words to express like how much it means to me just to see the joy in everyone. Thank you 
you just, you bless me and my life so much just by all of everything you, you share out. And I just, I thank you all so much for all your thank you all so much for all you do. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. This is my wife and I's first time in Uganda. And words cannot describe how much this week has meant to us. From working on the tables with everybody, you guys are so eager to learn and helpful. From visiting the school and, and seeing all the children. We love you all. You guys have filled up our faith. It's just beautiful to see the smiling faces. They bring so much joy to us. And we are so grateful to experience this. So, I want to say from all of us, thank you. And God bless you. Never change. Hello, everyone. It's good to be back. I love worshiping with you all, seeing you all. And I've got to share one of my favorite verses because the worship and just being with you all always reminds me of this. It says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. And into his courts with praise. And the peace that passes all understanding will be with you. And isn't our God so good that he gives us all we need? Praise God. Good morning to everyone. Good morning. Yes, we are, we are very honored to be able to come and to be with you today. And it really is an honor and a blessing to be able to come and, and work with some of you all and to see your smiling faces and, and your love and it, it is, is really a blessing for us. And I, I, I've been able to, to come several times now. That's how much I like it. And And th this trip, it, it's a real honor to be able to bring my daughter and her husband for their first time. We, we've, we've been here several times and we go home and tell them stories about how amazing everyone here is. And it's not the same as being able to come and experience it yourself. So I'm very glad and thank you guys for coming with us. Amen. And it is, it is an honor to be able to praise the Lord together. 
and to praise the Lord in our everyday life as, as well as when we were at church praising the Lord. And, and that's, that's one of the things that I enjoy about being here. And one of the things that I enjoy about serving the Lord is to have a happy and a good life and because we have the Lord at our side all the time and we can praise him and thank him because he is there with us all the time and it is so good you know, they say that, that the angels praise the Lord day and night. And then God created man in his image. For that same thing, he wants our praise. For what all that he has done. That is what we are created for. And so, sometimes... The, the, the devil, the enemy comes and, and, and tries to attack us. There may be sickness. There may be death. There may be things around us that happen. You know what the enemy is really after? He doesn't care about what sickness he gives you, what name they call it. He doesn't care about what what because what the devil doesn't want is for you to praise the Lord that you were created to praise. He wants to take that praise and that glory out of your mouth. That's why it's that much more exciting to be able to praise him day and night. In everything, we can give him praise and thanks. And and see God moving in our lives. And to see his goodness and his mercy. Whether it is in America or in Uganda. Uganda. We serve the same God. And he is so good. And I give him praise and glory. Amen. Amen. You can head on back to your seats. We do serve the same God. And we are of like kind faith. And that's why it's so easy for us to come here and worship with you. And when we first met you, of the people in Uganda, from Uganda in the United States, we could feel that, that same like faith. And we all are called upon, like the word says, to go out and preach the gospel throughout all the world. And sometimes in America, we think it means we go to Africa. But you have the same command to go to all the world and preach the gospel. And you came to America to preach the gospel. And that's why we are here today, because you came to America. So we serve the same God and he says to go out to all the world and you have done that and I'm going to share a little bit about my wife and my story of being a Christian and so we have been married now for 47 years and 
And uh, we got married, which I'll say was kind of young for us. We were married when we were 19. In Uganda, is that early or is that okay? Or how is that in Uganda? How is it? <laughs> no, no, no. It's too early? It's too early. It's too early, it's too early. Yeah. okay. So we got married too early. At 19 years old. And we started to have kids right away. But before we got married, what we did for our dates, do you date here? Yeah. Okay. What we did for our dates, we would go to a small chapel. Maybe like this, and we would sit right down here. And we read the book of Psalms. The whole book. Out loud to each other. And then we moved on to the book of Proverbs. And we read the whole book of Proverbs. Together out loud. Like right there. And the that became our foundation of our marriage. And you, I think you've all heard about um, I have decided to follow Jesus. And well, we decided together to live a Christian life. And to me, a, a decision like that is for your life. You don't be a Christian one day and then not the next. So to me, you decide to follow Jesus, it's for your entire life. Which is just the beginning of eternity. And when I think of eternity and our life, the short life we have on earth, and I look at people, sometimes I wonder if they really believe in eternal life. Because your actions should show that you know that this life is short and is preparing you for eternal life. And so again, we got married too early, but not really. Because we wanted to, and we, we did. And so, being married that early, uh, I never went to university. Never went to college. Though it's good to do both. But for me, I never did. So I became a carpenter. And people want to know why I like to build tables. Just because I'm a carpenter. And if you can bring Proverbs third, 3 up. He's really good how he does that too. <laughs> He's pretty good. So Proverbs 3, the early, like, I think it's verse 5. Look at verse 5. I think it's right in there. That's the one. So early on we got married and I needed to do Proverbs 3, 5. is to trust in the Lord with all your heart and to lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, 
Era makubo gona muteke ngamu. And he will direct thy paths. Era na ya na lunga miango lugendo luo. And that's what the Lord has done for all of our life. And two nights ago, we went to one of the children's homes. And they sang a song about that, which was really fun. And during our journey through life, I learned to learn from other people. And I still do. And I think we all can learn from other people, yes. both good and bad. So it is our responsibility as Christians to show people the good. Because if we show them the bad, then it hurts the name of Christianity. So if we do decide to follow Jesus, then we need to decide to follow Jesus. All of our life, all the time, and to do good. Because to whom much is given, much is required. And that goes for everybody too. If you're a Christian, you have been given eternal life. And that is a great, great gift. And to whom much is given, much is required. So first, as a Christian, too much is given, much is required. And then to the leaders, the bishops, the elders, the choir directors, too much is given, much is required. So all of us have a responsibility, all of us, to do good because much is required. Another verse that I like is, I has not seen, we'll give them him a minute to pull that up if he could. Isaiah? But I has not seen, and ear has not heard, and neither has it entered into the heart of man what God has prepared for us to them that love us, to them that love him. So sometimes I think of that verse like this. Um, that we cannot imagine what God has for us. The same way that a bird cannot imagine how an airplane works. So if we are like a bird and the Lord is like an airplane we do not understand like a bird does not understand how an airplane works. So the song earlier today God is so big God is so good we serve a big big God. Because, because we cannot really understand all that God has for us. If we love him and if we serve him and like we said, we want to live a life dedicated to Jesus. Because I think eternal life 
It's going to be wonderful. And I heard the other day somebody say that, and it was interesting, they said it this way. They said our body does not really have a soul. It's our soul has a body. And if you think about it that way, it puts a little bit more perspective into it. What lasts longer is the soul. Not the body. So when you think about that, you know, sometimes throughout the earth, people think you know, the body is kind of first. But the body is the first, the soul is first. That's why I say when you make a decision to follow Jesus, it's really for all your life and for all eternity. And then I think another way that I think sometimes is the way we should live is we do we do things or we don't do things I'll start with the things you do. <laughs> and so you do things that are good that if nobody ever knows, that's okay. Because you're doing it for an eternal reason. So then we believe there's eternity, we do the right things for the right reasons, and then all is well. And then now the things to not do. So let's just say it this way. If you knew that you could steal some money and nobody would ever know nobody would ever know nobody would ever know would you steal it because the earth and the body is a short time, so you don't, you don't do those things. Or if you could um, be with your neighbor's wife. And and nobody would ever know. Would you do it? And that's why I say you need to be honest with yourself and honest with Jesus. You need to be very, very honest with yourself, knowing you have eternal life, Knowing that it's So I go back to the beginning again about the church is told to go out to all the earth. And this church has done that. And you all have made sacrifices 
to allow the choir to come. Era no kwe wa yoko kona o kuganya abayim baba abayim biba no abana o kutambula neba gende de wafi. And some of these kids are your kids that come to US. Abana ba no bana ba mweneba jeri mu America. And some of these are your kids that don't go to the US. And some of you don't have kids. But everyone has made a sacrifice in their way to help this church with that mission to the US. And for that we thank you. No rain song gay you twagalo babas. And when I was talking to Sam through WhatsApp to come here, I said, Well, we want to come to church and we want to sing. I don't mean me, me sing. I can't sing. Right I mean the choir sing. So, if, are they still around? Oh, the choir is still around over there? Can we sing? Or something? They're going to set them up to prepare them to come. Okay. But we have enjoyed coming to Uganda. To Uganda. To Kampala. To this church. To the school. And. It's been fun to take the early part of my life, which is carpentry, making tables, bring a team here. And we have a lot of people that are becoming carpenters too, which is really, really fun because I like carpentry work. And some of these up here were helping build tables, which is great. 